Sunday outing for the Bucher family. With the birth of their daughter Mara, Suzanne and Martin now have the three children they wished for. Their family is complete and they have already put some thought into methods of contraception. Martin has decided to look into legation, also called vasectomy, more closely, and for this reason has made an appointment at Euroviva. Dr. Cohen welcomes Martin Bucher to an initial consultation, in which he provides the patient with detailed information, using illustrations about the operation process. Also addressed are the pros and cons of vasectomy as a method of contraception. Male sterilization is an attractive option because it means that in the future neither partner needs to use any aids or hormones for contraception. It will never more be an issue. And although the semen of a sterilized man no longer contains any sperm, it is otherwise largely unchanged. Nor do either desire or virility suffer as a result. In short, there is no effect on the couple's sex life. Und gleichzeitig aber auch verhütet. Nachher, wenn das gemacht ist, geht das wieder zurück in den Hodensack. Dann ist es auf dieser Höhe unterbunden. Wie ist das mit der Nachkontrolle? Es braucht grundsätzlich. After Dr. Cohen has answered a few questions, Martin Bucher is convinced that a vasectomy is the right choice for him, and he makes an appointment before the consultation is over. Drei bis vier Wochen. Back at home, he explains what is involved to his wife, Suzanne, and shows her the Euroviva website, which introduces her to the hospital and the doctor who will be performing the procedure. Two weeks later, Martin Bucher is back at Euroviva, where he's booked in for a vasectomy. The procedure is performed on an outpatient basis. That is, the patient can be back home a few hours after the operation and therefore needs to take just the essentials with him. Dr. Cohen pays another short visit to his patient in the outpatient clinic before the procedure to answer any last questions. A little later, Mr. Bucher is in the operating theatre, where he's prepared for the procedure by a theatre sister and Dr. Cohen. A vasectomy takes about 20 minutes and can be illustrated as follows. Firstly, the scrotum is numbed. Then a small incision is made. Next, a part of the vas deferens is removed. The two ends are ligated with a thread, hence the name ligation. At the same time, for safety purposes, both ends of the vas deferens are sealed. Dr. Cohen repeats the process on the other side of the scrotum. Very often, the same incision can be used for both sides. Mr. Bucher remains fully conscious during the entire procedure. After a few minutes, the operation is over. Hello, Bucher, is that all right? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, thank you. Have you any pain? No, it's good. I'll take a cup of coffee and the doctor comes back. Well, thank you very much. Following the procedure, Mr. Bucher is provided with refreshments in the day clinic. A short time later, Mr. Cohen comes to visit and discuss the next steps with him. Do it this way. After about 30 ejaculations, Martin Bucher must provide a semen sample for analysis. If the semen is sperm-free, contraception is ensured from now on. The next day, Martin Bucher is back on the playground with Mara. Undergoing a vasectomy was a major decision, but Martin is certain that it was the right one.